Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's nodes are the Gamut Limiter node and the Gamut Mapping node. So I'm first going to go over the Gamut Mapping node and I'm not so much going to go over it as much as making you aware of this node. Because if I bring up a color space transform, You can see if I go ahead and lock this node and bring in the color space transform node. Sorry, if I pin this node and bring up the color space transform node. You can see this gamut mapping node down here has the same selection that we have in our color space transform. So it's pretty much doing the same exact thing minus the actual color space input and output so if I need to make changes I could just uh, you know select my DaVinci Intermediate since our footage is b-raw footage and it's the same as going to uh, DaVinci Wide Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate and all these selections for the tone mapping are all down here as well it's the same node so if you need to just remap gamut information and tone mapping and not color space information you can just use this gamut mapping node so let's clear those out and let's jump into our next node which is the gamut limiter node so a common scenario is uh, say our footage is this is all b-raw and we know we have to deliver in say rec 709 so that's a huge uh, a huge change so if I bring up my gamut node our footage is currently in DaVinci wide gamut which is pretty big and we need to go to rec 709 which is fairly small so obviously there, there's going to be some issues with with color and uh, with our gamut and everything so the gamut limiter node will kind of let you know up front what, what's happening with your footage as that gets limited. So, but before I go any further, I'm going to throw some noise reduction on here. This shot was shot at 400 ISO in the middle of the night. This test footage with nothing but a, a Aperture 120D in the background and uh, an MC overhead with purple light and then the pool lights. So it's <laughs> pretty noisy. So I'm going to throw a noise reduction on it because it's just kind of annoying me. Stick that in there and I'm going to bump that up a little bit. That's good. All right. So we need to kind of watch what's happening when we go from DaVinci Wide Gamut, DaVinci Intermediate, down to Rec. 709. So let's throw a limiter on there. Gamut limiter. And this node, being a limiting node, is another node we kind of want at the end. So we don't want to limit all of this nice juicy information before we start doing anything we want to keep all that info in here so we're getting all that full color information as we're doing any changes and put that gamut limiter at the end so our current gamut is davinci wide gamut with intermediate and we want to limit to rec 709 so to start seeing what's going on with our color first i'm going to go ahead and add a uh, at a LUT, so I'm going to bring in our OCIO file transform. And I'm going to apply a LUT here. So let's just go with the Rec 709. And then we're going to add a color corrector node in. And we're going to do a little color correction. And let's bring this up in one. So right here, this is where we're gonna 
kind of watch what we want our color to be and you're going to see what happens after this limiter over in this display so say we really want to start bringing those purples out which we really can't see so we're going to uh and i'm going to go extreme on this so you can really see what's what's happening because i would probably never go this extreme in footage so right off the bat you can see after our, our gamut limiter we're one getting a lot more noise and if you look we're really not getting these purples coming across quite as uh, heavy as we want them say in this footage but another one of the big problems is if you look down in this detail and this coloring in the pool from the lights coming through that's almost completely gone over here so you can see our, our saturation is getting diminished a lot so this gamut limiter is a good node to have as you're building stuff in here to see what's happening to your footage because whether you do your color grading in here or in fusion you, you still want to know what's happening with your uh, footage because i would normally actually do this and put it in my display so i can see what's going on but not output this because i could go into my color correction and do any color correction i need to do because i will ultimately be pushing out rec 709 from here anyway this is a good way to kind of see what's happening and whether you need more noise reduction whether you need you know additional color changes to affect your color changes correctly because you're losing all this information once you go down in uh to a, a rec 709 from say a higher davinci white gamut or something from red so now you could try to talk your uh, your client into say doing rec 2020 which gives you a little more information but not much so that's the gamut limiter node and i will see you in the next node breakdown